Digital security. Swift response. Smart progression. Welcome to Qingqiao Safety. Investigation. According to Israeli news, thousands of ultra-Orthodox Jews recently held large-scale protests in Jerusalem. Protesters displayed slogans such as, We will not join the enemy's army, and, We would rather die than join the army, opposing the Israeli government's decision to revoke their military conscription exemption. The protests were tense and fierce, with some participants throwing stones, lighting fires, and clashing with police. Protesters also targeted the cars of ultra-Orthodox officials, expressing anger at their perceived inaction. Orthodox Jews have a long history, tracing back to the early development of Judaism, and have consistently been a conservative force within the religion. As Jews migrated globally, Orthodox Jews formed distinct communities and organizations. After the establishment of Israel, they continued to influence politics, religion, and culture. Orthodox Jews are the most traditional and conservative group in Judaism, adhering strictly to the Torah and Talmud and rejecting modern reforms. Many Orthodox Jewish men focused on studying in rabbinical schools rather than working, often supported by government funding, believing that studying the Torah is crucial for the protection of Israel. Disrupting this study is unacceptable to them. Orthodox Jews have historically been exempt from military service in Israel to concentrate on their religious studies, a policy in place since the founding of the state 76 years ago. However, with the intensifying conflict between Hamas and Israel leading to a severe troop shortage, the Israeli Supreme Court ruled on June 25, 2024, that the government must recruit ultra-Orthodox Jews of appropriate age into the army overturning the previous exemption system and sparking dissatisfaction among Orthodox Jews. Analysts suggest that this is one of the domestic pressures Israel faces amid the Israel-Hamas conflict. The Netanyahu government must adjust its military service policy to meet national interests and strategic needs. However, this decision challenges the traditional views of the ultra-Orthodox community and complicates the balancing act between different groups while addressing national interests. The outcome of these protests and whether Orthodox Jewish parties will withdraw from the government coalition could significantly influence Israel's future political landscape. Tune in at 6 a.m. from Monday to Friday for Qingqiao Safety Investigation for your daily safety updates.